Hi uh, guys and welcome to this week's video tutorial. This will be the second board introducing the central cannon, oh, sorry, left ele elephant opening versus the left central cannon counter. We will be adopting the screenhouse defense. So without further ado, let us begin. The elephant opening, left central cannon, protects, protecting the central pawn, uh, <coughs> developing the chariots, and a uh, screen horse red adopts the screen horse defense formation and this will be the uh, topic uh, position of discussion for this board now black would develop his right horse as an edge horse whereby he would now have the options of playing c2 equals to 3 c2 equals to 4 c2 plus 2 or c2 plus 4 etc etc this is a very very versatile counter for black and is time proven. Uh, this is also this move would also represent another major variation in this opening system. Now this would be the and uh, this would be black's method of playing. And <coughs> and usually red would counter with p3 plus one to develop his horse and also inhibit or limit the development of black's horse. Now p7 plus 1 would not be, a, would not be as good as p3 plus 1 because with p7 plus 1, black can now play c2 equals to 3 to attack the horse and this part would not inhibit the, or limit the development of this horse because it was developed to the edge file. So p3 plus 1 is usually played. So let's say p7 plus 1 was played, c2 equals to 4, instead of c2 equals to 3, this is okay. Black could gladly sacrifice a pawn so that he could get his chariot to the riverbank and threaten the pawn, which would have wasted one move and two move, two moves to move to this point. It cannot advance or the horse will capture it. Now, uh, one of the main reasons for playing c2 plus 2 is to discourage r1, r1 uh, plus 2 from happening. So I say Black made this move. Red will gladly play c8 plus c7 plus 8 to threaten the chariot. This is the reason behind c2 plus 2. So p2 plus 1. Uh, this is a quite a commonly used tactic in Xiangqi, whereby a pawn is sacrificed or pseudo sacrificed and captured back later with an improvement in the positioning of the pieces. So p3 plus 1 is usually played. And in this board, uh, black will play the 5-6 cannons. Uh, now, c2 equals to 4 is played because uh, this is a very re resilient and also time-proven move. With this move, this the black cannon would indirectly limit the movement of uh, this cannon because this cannon will now be needed to guard this intersection or else the cannon would advance to for a cannon pin on this uh for a cannon pin. Uh, this is also because of this reason, this move has become a very re uh, standard move. And with c2 equals to 4, black can now be prepared to play r1 equals to 2. Now red would take the opportunity to develop his cannon. Black would also do likewise. And red will now consolidate his defense with a 4 plus 5 to prevent this from happening. From prevent the cannon from advancing. Now this is the sound move, and Rick would now adopt a wait and see attitude or approach to the game. Now if Rick was aggressive with C2 plus four, Black would attack. Now because the cannon had left this cannon rank, this horse would become vulnerable. So let's say for example, let's say for example if Black continued. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. Sorry. Let's say if uh, let's say if Black offered a trade of material, Red cannot make this move at this point in time, or this would be an immediate cannon pin, and Red Black would gain material because he will now be threatening the chariot and the horse at the same time. And once either of these pieces were attacked, uh, Black would have seized the initiative in this situation. So that is why the threat of c4 plus 5 
uh, cannot be ignored and Brett cannot be without worries when he, if he plays C and he goes to 9. A4 plus 5 to prevent the cannon. And Black could uh, also play, take a slow and steady approach with R2 plus 4 to patrol the riverbank, offering a trade of chariots. And this would be the position of discussion. Black would refuse to trade chariots. Now, this the reason for this is because he wanted to keep his options uh, alive. And with C R2 equals to 4, he will now command, have command over this very important file. Uh, this is the most used, utilized variation in most games. So, this would also be the position of discussion. There are two major variations that will be discussed. The first would be P9 plus 1. The, the second would be uh, R2 plus 1. Now, uh, before we continue, there's a variation uh, in retaliation. It would not be a good idea for Red to play uh, C2 plus 4 to try to form a blockade because, because of the chariot that is now here, Black could simply offer a trade of pawns uh, and then play P1 plus 1, threatening to play our, uh, H1 plus 2. And it will be still be an even situation for both colors. The pawn will still have trouble getting across the river. And uh, basically, uh, neither color can gain the, an obvious upper hand in this situation. So, let us begin our discussion of variation A. P9 plus 1. This move would uh, limit the development of Black's Edge Horse and also allow the horse to be developed from the Edge file if necessary. Uh, there's, there are many implications uh, which cannot be, uh, which, I cannot, <coughs> which I cannot go over at, all, at this point in time. So P9 plus 1, Black would usually continue with P1 plus 1. This is a very delicate and exquisite move. Now, with this move, black has the following intentions. If black, let's say, if uh, red continued with p9 plus 1, black would continue with r4 equals to 1 to capture the pawn. This horse will now be given an open line for development. And let's say if black were allowed to move the horse, he will be able to move the cannon to attack the chariot. So he can be satisfied with this situation. Now, if black played c9 plus 3 to capture the black pawn, his cannon rank would now be weakened because the cannon would now have moved and not be able to defend this very important cannon rank. And this would create holes in red's defense and allow, uh, give black the opportunity to create uh, chances to attack. And the cannon at this position is basically Functionless because it cannot move. Uh, this does not have a very good more or more areas for development because it's restricted by the uh, chariot. So that is why P1 plus 1 is a very ex delicate, exquisite move to limit the or to counter the uh, efficiency or effects of this cannon. So let's say P9 plus 3, and Black would immediately attack this horse since the cannon had left. He will play R8 plus 6. Now, Red chose to gain material advantage, and now he will be uh, have to face the issue of his right horse being under attack. So both colors would have made some gains. Black in terms of uh, position, red in terms of the pawn. Black attacks the horse, forcing it back, losing some tempo. And Black will continue his pin on this uh, cannon and chariot. Now, this is a very important intermediate move to make. Black cannot play R2 plus 1, hoping to give this chariot a, a, a route or, so that it will not be left hanging and he will be prepared to move the cannon away to develop material. Because if he did, 
again, the presence of this Pell Corner Cannon cannot be ignored. Black can simply advance and black and <coughs> rest formation will be in disarray. If a four plus a five plus six, for example, the horse will be blocked, will be, be blocked from attacking, and red will simply play c5 plus 4 and black will be all sorts of trouble if it moved the advisor for example black would have a winning position so race would be all sorts of trouble and the power or the, the impact that this cannon has made uh, cannot be ignored so that is why red would have to make uh, play r8 equals to 6 as an intermediate move to prevent this from happening before he can play r2 plus 1 as seen. Uh, this would be a standoff. Red would be slightly better, all things considered, but uh, black would have a very, very playable game. So this would be variation A. Now in variation B, c2 plus 1 is played uh, to protect this cannon rank. Now this move was played in anticipation of black advancing the chariot over here because if red attacked the chariot were allowed to move to the pawn rank this horse would be under all sorts of trouble. Now this would also uh, allow red to develop his cannon c2 equals to 3 if need be uh, to attack this file. Now if he had sorry so this this is uh, the this is the variation B. If C two plus four had been discussed earlier on. So in re in reply, usually black will play P one plus one, R eight plus four, and black will now retreat his cannon to attack. Now this is a very flexible move, allowing for the elephants to be linked, and also when the throat <coughs> the cannon is at the throat rank, it can <coughs> maneuver to one of either one of the files for attack. Now if a6 plus 5 were played to consolidate the defense, black would command this important red file. Black would have try to change his formation because his central cannon would not do, be able to do much. And red would have the advantage <coughs> in this situation. So that is why a6 plus 5 uh, is not as good because black would have to use up several moves to move the cannon. And this will result in a loss of tempi. So red would now play, command this red file. Black could up his defenses. And black's position is very versatile, uh, but red would still have a playable game. So let us do a quick review of this game as black. So, elephant opening, left central cannon, screen house defense, and in this variation, h2 plus 1 is played, p3 plus 1 to avoid p7 plus 1 and its potential implications, c2 equals to 4 for versatile counter is the main topic of this board. Uh, 9 equals to 8, development of both pieces, consolidation, consolidating the defense, offering a trade of can chariots which black refuses, and this would be the position of discussion, two main variations, p9 plus 1 and c2 plus 1. Uh, c2 plus 4 is not advocated because uh, it will be an even situation for both colors, but uh, the, the game will become very, very drawish. Variation A, P9 plus 1. To add pressure on this edge file, black counters boldly with P1 plus 1. Red opts to gain a pawn, and A plus 6, whereby black will now be compensated with the uh, chance to attack this flank. Retreats the horse, continues to pin, and an important intermediate move to make. Otherwise, C7, sorry, the pale corner cannon will still do much damage. And black tries to gain a route 
while the Tim uh, tries to get his chariot protected by the horse with his move. Variation B, C2 plus 1. C1 plus 1. Very versatile move by Black. Commands the rip file. Up the defenses. And uh, Black's position is very versatile, but at this point in time, there would still be. It will still be too early to decide who has the obvious advantage. So, if you like the work that I've been doing, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thank you.